Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Amazing base jump at iconic location. Pratt & Whitney Canada produces 100,000th engine. And 2017 Exponential Innovation Preview debuts. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's May 5th, 2017, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Red Bull Air Force team member Miles Dasher chose Petra, one of the wonders of the world, as a stunning location to celebrate his 4300th base jump. The American base jumper, who has completed an impressive 700 skydives, traveled to Jordan intent on becoming the first base jump Petra with amazing scenery at the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Setting his early morning gear, Miles waited for the right conditions to let go with the help of his teammate Andy Farrington. With no tourist in sight and the light yet to reach the top, Andy leaned over the edge and a rope inhaled Miles' parachute to secure a static line for him to jump. At 7 o'clock a.m. local time, Miles then said see ya to Andy and jumped, opening the chute very quickly. Thankfully, after flying in a circular motion across the 100 feet wide space available, he landed perfectly right in front of the doorway in less than 15 seconds. The extreme challenge for Miles was in the short length and altitude of the jump along with the incredibly tight space that left him with little room to escape the walls of the limestone mountains. Pratt & Whitney Canada celebrated the production of its 100,000th engine this month. The company had 60,000 in-service engines operated by 12,300 customers in more than 200 countries and territories worldwide. Its engine family span across general aviation, regional turboprops, business aviation, civil helicopters, and auxiliary power units, and total an impressive 730 million flight hours logged. Pratt & Whitney Canada's latest addition to its turbofan engine offering, the Pure Power PW800, brings fundamental change to the large business jet segment, powering the Gulfstream G500 and G600, next generation long range and ultra long range business jets. At the heart of the PW800 is the durable, rigorously tested core technology shared with Pratt & Whitney's award-winning Pure Power geared turbofan commercial aircraft engines. Introducing a new standard of reliability with its PW901 and Pratt & Whitney Canada's fleet of auxiliary power units equip a variety of commercial aircraft including jets and turboprops flown by regional airlines and narrow and wide body aircraft flown by commercial airlines. In the coming weeks and months, Pratt & Whitney Canada will continue to celebrate its 100,000th engine milestone, recognizing all the families of products and many accomplishments that have marked Pratt & Whitney Canada's journey. After the break, the first Exponential Innovation Preview debuts. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at errol-news.net. A little bit of unmanned editorial history is being made today as the first exponential innovation preview hits cyberspace. ANN and and AUVSI are pleased to debut the Next Gen Airborne Innovation Preview for AUVSI's Exponential 2017, and this time with the moniker the Exponential Innovation Preview. 
Our inaugural program with AUVSI is nearly an hour long and is being webcast to the unmanned community via Vimeo, YouTube, ANN, and AUVSI, as well as many other online outlets, like the dozens of other iterations of the ANN Innovation Preview Series that we have presented over the last decade. The program is designed to serve as an attention-grabbing teaser ahead of the aviation and aerospace community's most important events, so we can build anticipation, interest, and direct attention to the industry's greatest innovators. ANN is also AVSI's media partner on the Airborne Unmanned News Program, currently produced each week serving the unmanned technology industry. The 2017 Exponential Innovation Preview may be accessed primarily at allthingsunmanned.com and via AUVSI and ANN's Airborne Unmanned Channels on YouTube as part of ANN's 3,000 Program Strong Offerings at youtube.com forward slash Errol TV Network. And be sure to join all of us as we present live coverage of AUVSI's main event, Exponential 2017, with special programming this Tuesday starting at 12 o'clock p.m. Central Time and Wednesday at 10 o'clock a.m. Central via airborne-live.net. It's Friday, and that means it's time for ANN and CEO and Editor-in-Chief Jim Campbell to check in with his weekly barnstorming commentary. The ANN crew is preparing for a lot of live coverage of AUVSI's Exponential Convention and Trade Show. We hope you'll join us at airborne-live.net this Tuesday and Wednesday. Here's this week's barnstorming. Thanks, Chris, and hi, folks. Uh, we are literally packing the vehicles now, leave in the morning. But to make a long story short, we're about to engage in a major new effort for ANN with our partners, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International, and this week's upcoming trade show, Exponential 2017, at the K. Bailey Hutchinson Dallas Convention Center. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be there live. We'll be covering everything um, Monday in regards to what's happening and addresses and all that kind of thing. But Tuesday afternoon, starting at noon to 3 o'clock, we will be live at www.airborne-live.net and immediately archived to airborne-unman.net. And on Wednesday, we will be live starting at 10 o'clock in the morning and going to 1 o'clock, once again at www.airborne.net airborne-live.net. We're looking to host a number of guests from throughout the unmanned community, all things unmanned, aviation, uh, submarine, marine, ground, you name it. Uh, the unmanned community has grown by leaps and bounds, literally. And the technology that we saw last year gives us great anticipation for what we'll see next year. And having just completed the first exponential innovation preview, which will be up probably by the time you watch this, and that'll be hosted as well at www.airborneunmanned.net, as well as all over Aero News and AUVSI and so forth and so on. But looking at the technology there and the, the group that we were able to work with this year, I've got nothing but the highest hopes for not just the technology, but the jobs that this equipment will do. You know, we get a lot of flack sometimes for our drone coverage because, well, all I want to know is about Piper Cubs, or all I want to know is about my Learjet, or all I want to know is about my parachute. Well, folks, aviation is a big, huge community. It needs to have knowledge of everything everybody else is doing so that we can synergize, communicate, cooperate, and help us rebuild collectively. The unmanned community has a lot to offer. The technology uh, follow through and uh, spill down to general aviation, to sport aviation, to commercial aviation is enticing. Come watch us. Come see what we're doing live. Come watch the coverage. There's a lot more where this comes from. Uh, you are aware that we're doing the AMA drone report now as well as airborne unmanned for AUVSI. There's a lot more where that came from. We're going to be announcing new groups with the Warbird community, sport aviation, avionics, uh, helicopters, and a number of others. But more important, it will all lead into a massive new development for Airborne Unlimited itself. And I'll just tease you with that because, frankly, it's the most aggressive, the most radical, the most disruptive we've ever been. And to be perfectly honest, it fits right in with what we'll be doing next week. Radical, disruptive, innovative, 
all things unmanned. Join us, www.airborne-live.net. See you Tuesday and Wednesday. Thanks, folks. After these messages, FAA cautions about third-party checklist use. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics personal jet kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing with you other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The FAA has published a safety alert for operators informing pilots and operators of the potential risk of purchasing a commercially available checklist or developing their own aircraft checklist in lieu of using the approved MFRO from Pilot Operating Handbook Airplane Flight Manual. Recently, a pilot was unable to lower a plane's landing gear and referred to an unapproved checklist. The aircraft landed with the landing gear partially extended, whereupon the landing gear collapsed. The FAA has granted an STC to Hartzell Propeller for the installation of its composite trail blazer prop on Cessna Cardinals. The approval covers retractable gear, normally aspirated and turbo-normalized C-177RG Cardinals with IL-360s and IL-390s engines. Essential Air Services will continue to be funded through the end of the fiscal year. EAS supports airports that have limited commercial service. President Donald J. Trump has proposed eliminating the program from the federal budget, but the continuing resolution approved by Congress maintained funding for that at the same levels for the remainder of the fiscal year. The Airline Pilots Association International is calling on the federal government of Canada to immediately implement science-based fatigue rules for all commercial pilots in Canada before the Standing Committee on Transport, Infrastructure, and Communities. Five instructors have renewed their master instructor designation in the month of April, while one received the designation for the first time. Master Instructors LLC said that all were accredited as Masters by Master Instructors LLC. The International Master Instructor Accrediting Authority all obtained their designation through the Master Instructor Fluid Review Program online. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch now. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Another foolish myopic city is trying to kill their neglected airport. The city council of Banning, California voted last week to close its municipal airport, saying there are better uses for the property on which the airport sits. The vote on the council was four to one with Mayor Pro Tem Debbie Franklin casting the sole no vote. We haven't put anything into it to attract more businesses, she said. But Councilman Don Peterson called the airport an albatross and said there is development potential for the property. He said that an unnamed developer has offered to cover the $2.2 million it would cost to shut the airport. Yeah, right. The council made the move in part due to a nearly 72% drop in operations at the airport from 4,674 movements to 1,324 between 2010 and 2015. Public Works Director Art Vila said that the FAA has been part of what he called a continuing conversation about closing the airport. Closing an airport is normally a long process, it's very involved and can take several years, and is far difficult than these officials realize. Well, that's our program for today. Remember, Airborne Unlimited stream daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. 
Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest in aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you Monday.